So we're going to demonstrate Timeline. I've used Timeline for many different things. I've used it to help people uh, around presentations, interviews, say they've been anxious doing a presentation, they've been nervous about an interview. I've used it uh, just generally people who've got uh, anger issues. I've also used it for people who around weight uh, as well, um, the emotion driving the behavior. For example, a woman I regressed a while ago, every time she'd come home at night, she would eat all the wrong foods at the wrong time. When I regressed her, we found that a four-year-old, every time she'd graze her knee or get upset or sad, her mom would give her chocolate. So she'd broken up in a relationship and she was lonely and sad. And whenever she'd get home and she wasn't working, I had time to think on that uh, level, she would eat all the wrong foods at the wrong time because she'd, she'd equate love with chocolate as a way to compensate. So you could utilize this around weight reduction too. You mentioned to work around weight reduction um, on the basis that uh, weight is a broad issue. Where weight reduction is concerned, um, there are many areas that I would recommend anyone explore as well as on the basis that if there is a medical area, then with all the will in the world, I'm not medically qualified and wouldn't make any suggestions. And I use that for me, in my mind, in my experience, uh, medical issues aside and people's metabolism, the area about weights, it's, it's the, the math is simple, really. Uh, eat high nutritional foods and eat less foods that are low nutritional values and more movement. Um, and then we can start to reduce. But we all know that different people react to different, different foods, so it's finding their own plan. But also we know that um, sometimes food can be a coping strategy and it served the person too and then it's time to let go and do something different than eat the food. And we also know that some people from an exercise point of view um, can exercise differently. Some people go to the gym, some people uh, it can be a walk. So all depending on the person's physiological capability. Uh, so whatever you do professionally as an extension to what you do. So whether you're a butcher, baker, candlestick maker, you're a coach, a personal trainer, any technique you use should be an extension to what you do. We, we don't want the personal trainer to become the resident psychiatrist. So the technique now, identify the emotion. So what is the emotion around your, um, the, 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 the eating? Uh, um, a lot of it's boredom. Boredom, okay. Okay, boredom and habit. Okay, okay. I'm going to guide you now for a process. Uh, your preference is to do the process sitting down. We'll do it sitting down. But this process could be done step by step. Now I'm going to guide you for the process, Caroline. I'm going to guide you back to the earliest time you experienced that feeling. And then I'm going to guide you through. Rather than explain the process, I'll demonstrate process, do, do an explanation of the process after I've done the demonstration. So perhaps you'd like to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, Think of the emotion around the feeling around eating. And as you think about the emotion and the feeling around eating, fully connect to that feeling. Perhaps imagine a time when you felt that way. And if someone had to stand in for Caroline to experience those feelings, well, how would you describe them to be? Uh, the feeling around the the boredom and habit. Um, I'm frustrated that that is the case. Okay, so frustration around the case, the boredom. How else do you feel? Um, angry that that's, that's what's happening. Okay. I want you now to imagine a line that represents time and the future. Think of events that have happened in the past. A day, or this morning, last week, two months ago, as far back as Christmas, two years, and, and think of them in a, in a linear way, on a line that represents time. 
and think of the future events tomorrow, the next week, a year, five years from now. Point to where the past is. Whereabouts would the past be for you? Okay, fantastic. And now I want to make a journey in time. And let's explore going back in time now to the very first time you experienced those feelings. Okay, let's go back to the past, the very first time you experienced those feelings. So you're making your way, you're floating above this timeline or you're walking along the timeline. Or, and as you do that, is there a first time you felt these feelings? Um, when I was at university, I think. And, and roughly what age? Um, 18. Okay. Um, is, are you sure to share what's happening? Yeah, just um, it's the first time that I was sort of on my own and okay. um, having to fend for myself. And yeah, there wasn't a family around me to, to, to have things to do with it happening. Okay. Is there anybody there? No. Okay. 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 If you go and you detach yourself from the experience and you see it like a TV screen from the left, dissociate from the experience and you can see it from the other side, from the right, then high above in the sky, so it's the size of a postage stamp, dissociate from the experience and if you sort of come down, go back to before it happened, there's no feeling there before that. There's no feeling there. And what I'd like you to do now is to imagine floating back to the person you are today and the things you've learnt in life and any resources, anything you have, anything that you've learnt, anything you can sort of take back from the person you are now to share with the person you were then that perhaps could be useful. Any learnings from the person you are at the age you are today, you could bring back the 18 year old Caroline. Just that um, food isn't the answer to that. Okay, food's not the answer to that. Anything else you can think of? That it's not going to make me happy. Okay. Okay, anything else that you can think of resource wise? Just that there's other things. I can do. Okay. Anything specifically you can do? Just not eat. Just do something else like read a book or something. Okay. So you can read a book and not eat. and Okay. And any resources that you've accumulated um, in time to help you I'm stronger yeah. than that person. Yeah, and, and through life and um, you've experienced different things and you've shown tremendous resilience as a person. Um, and perhaps you can bring back some of that to the person you were then and the growth you've experienced as a person through your adversity and overcoming that adversity. And if you can overcome that adversity, then you can share that with the person you were then. And imagine putting that into a bag. As you put it into a bag, or anything for that matter, bring the resources back to the person you were then. So you can almost like putting them in a bag and share these resources with younger Caroline, 18. And notice with these resources, how things would have been different. Change your perspective, change your world. How would things have been different had you've had these resources at 18? I'd stop learn, learning habits. Okay. Okay. So re-experiencing that situation at university and you've got these resources, this resilience you've learned, uh, this determination, uh, the suggestion about doing other things. How would the experience have been different to what it was when it was then? Be more positive. I wouldn't, wouldn't be doing it. Okay. What would you have done? I would um, 
find other things to do. Yeah. Can you think of specific things you would have done? Go for a walk or yeah, read a book or something. Okay. And perhaps you can see yourself like seeing a screen detached from the left and the right, high above. And Remember before it happened, there was no feeling there. This experience had an impact on that reality, that feeling. And you can reassure the person you were then by everything's going to turn out fine. Everything's going to be okay. And as you do that, you can let the emotions disintegrate into the atmosphere. You can let go and reassure younger self, 18-year-old self, things are going to turn out good. It's going to work out. You're going to go on to do well. You're going to go on to do many things. You're going to overcome various adversity and challenges as well. And you're going to show a tremendous amount of resilience to overcome many other things. And, as a re and you know you can overcome that. You can overcome anything. And you can sort of let go now. And perhaps you can give your younger self a, a hug goodbye and let those feelings, the boredom and any other feelings that go with it, disintegrate the atmosphere. And as you let them go, I want you to make your way on this timeline. And as you make your way on the timeline, Caroline, whenever you experience these feelings, pass the resources on. At any point during, at any point between 18 and the person you are now on this journey in time, you've experienced those feelings past the resources that person you were then and notice how things change and make your way back to the person you are today and as you make your way back to the person you are today I think of the future things you're looking forward to and perhaps this afternoon next week next month there may be situations where you feel that boredom and as you feel that boredom, you see yourself doing something different. So where you did one thing, you do something different. So you pick up a book, you do an activity you enjoy, perhaps watch some TV, distract yourself in a positive way and as you do that you dissociate from those feelings and you connect a more resourceful state knowing you're in control you control what you do you mentioned earlier that maybe at certain times at six o'clock where you would have done one thing you do something different so where you would have eaten at that point, you now read a book. You now do something in a positive way to distract yourself. So when you pick up a book, you can see yourself on the cover looking the way you want to look, weight-wise. And when you pick up the food, you see yourself being a way you don't want to be no more. And we know you've come a long way and you've done a lot and you've showed tremendous resilience and adversity. And if you can do that, Caroline, you can do anything. What you've done in your life and the way you've done it is phenomenal adversity many people i would think would struggle to overcome the things that you've overcome in your own way through sheer determination and willpower it's connected that resourceful state around this area and now we do the best thing we know at the time we all do the best we know at the time and when you're 18 that was the right thing to do and it served you at some point and it served you at some point at the age you are now and in between and now it's time to let go because your conscious, unconscious mind is there to protect you and serve you and you're doing it to protect you and serve you 
and now you can reassure it's time to let that go and do something different and free yourself from that. And as you think about times when you may have felt bored and feeling bored is natural and, and normal and where you may have felt bored and you've eaten, this time you do and you think of as many options you can think of to do differently. And it may kick in this afternoon, it may kick in tomorrow, next week, it'll kick in when you're ready to kick in. And you can embed that in the unconscious mind. And as you embed that in the unconscious mind, in your own time, in your own pace, 